Gabe Salgado live here from Bears Training Camp in Bourbon A for the Sports Cypher, WVON. Follow us on Twitter at Sports Cypher. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gabe Salgado82. Today the Bears had their second practice in full pads. Not too much contact going on, but they're slowly getting there. Uh, defensive line looks great. They look fast. They're getting the balls. Uh, all the quarterbacks, Jay Cutler, Jordan Palmer, uh, Jimmy Clausen, David Fales under pressure quite a bit today in practice. Got a few batted balls down. Got a couple interceptions as well. Linebackers are looking looking smooth. Uh, Shane McClellan, his transition to linebacker is just unbelievable. He's able to get sideline to sideline, and he looks a lot more comfortable blitzing off the edge from the linebacker spot as opposed to being a defensive end in the three-point stance. And Kyle Fuller, he's uh, turned some heads. He got a lot of reps at corner today. Uh, Tim Jennings not practicing, so Kyle Fuller got a lot of his reps. Uh, he's definitely making the adjustments well. He's definitely learned how to cover receivers. Uh, he's getting better uh, pretty much uh, with every rep that goes. Uh, speaking of Tim Jennings, is one of the many players who didn't practice today. Terrence Tolliver didn't practice. Uh, not sure what his injury is, but he didn't practice. Uh, Kyle Long still dealing with the viral infection. And uh, Craig Stoltz and uh, Chris Conti, the two safeties, they're both still on the physically unable to perform this as they recover from their injuries as well. Chris Conti, as you know, and off he's the soldier, shoulder surgery, excuse me. And Craig Stoltz dealing with a groin injury. Uh, as for the offense, you know, um, you know, the offensive line looked a little overwhelmed with the defensive pass rush today. Hopefully that'll get better, especially once preseason starts. Uh, quarterbacks were rattled a little bit, even though there is no, there's no hitting the quarterback in practice, but they were definitely under pressure from the defense and a lot of the throws they were making. Martellus Bennett, Matt Forte, and Brandon Marshall made some really good acrobatic catches uh, here today. Sent the fans home happy for sure. So uh, the, the offense, I think that they'll do they'll do even better than they did last year. As for the defense, they're definitely improving, and that was the biggest concern was the defense. Now on the special team side, the punting competition between Pat O'Donnell and Tress Way. Tress Way still struggling with the hang time. Uh, he's got the velocity, but the distance and the hang time are still a concern. But Pat O'Donnell, you know, he's doing, looking really good uh, out there punting. He's got the hang time, he's got the distance and the velocity. And uh, also, you know, the competition at long snapper between uh, Chad Rempel and uh, Brandon Hartson. Those guys are still trying to get everything down again. Uh, Pat Manley is going to be very hard to replace. But overall, things are slowly starting to come together. And the Bears' first preseason game, Friday, August 8th, the Philadelphia Eagles come to Soldier Field. So that'll be definitely interesting to watch and see how these guys develop. So, for the live from here, Bears training camp in Bourbonnais, I'm Gabe Salgado for the Sports Cipher.